It was a runway show like no other. The sparkle was there and high fashion choices wowed the audience. But these creations can't be replicated for the retail market. They're made predominantly of Cadbury chocolate foil and they haven't disappointed. Every single one of them had something that, that showed their creativity to another level. The, the, the bar just lifted again this year. Every year I've said that and every year I've meant it. That bar lifts every single year we do this event. There were a record 25 entries and a sold out crowd of 300. The Mayor of Joyville emceed the event, which was judged by some of Dunedin's finest fashion faces. Overall winner Jenny Thomas is an aspiring writer, and rather than putting pen to paper, she used it as a fashion material. It's completely made of newspaper, so the only spots that I haven't used paper in it and the foil, the Cadbury foil are the flowers and this is a lampshade so, which I've covered so I tried not to use anything other than just using techniques with paper. Other prize winning outfits featured princess and army themes. Some were even inspired by Japanese and North American landscapes. And while Cadbury Couture is a fiercely fought competition, Rufio Karawana says it's all for a good cause. The Couture event is about having fun with charity, with fashion, with our foils and it's all about raising money for charities. So this year's charity was our Friends of Children in Hospital and that was to raise money for equipment to be used within the new paediatrics ward we have here at the hospital. All up, the event generated just over $10,000 for the charity. It's part of the annual Dunedin Cadbury Chocolate Carnival, currently taking the city by storm and bringing sugary laden joy to residents and visitors alike. Rosie Mannins, 39, Dunedin News.